Hey fellow Vault Dwellers, it's Angry Turtle and today I have a quick video for you showcasing a new light ally Steven Scarberry that can be obtained through the scoreboard at rank 35. So yes, I already have it and it's second best ally or one of the two best allies. They're equally good. Equally good because you can stack their buff. So the first best ally you probably already know, this is Leo Petrov from a previous scoreboard. And from Leo Petrov I can have a nice buff by giving him some new Colas. I'm usually using him for experience buff. And the brand new ally you can find under allies and it's called Scarberry's Shrine. If you build it, you build it in your camp, you have this new ally and the beauty about this new ally when you interact with him can ask for his services and ask him about Muffman's blessing and he's giving you a blessing. This blessing you can receive once a day. Apart from that he offers a sale. I will show you the buff in a second. He's a vendor that is selling a bunch of stuff, the one worth mentioning if you're struggling and for some reason you need blood packs because you are a vampire, he's selling those and those are usually not for sale. After that he tend to sell some wood armor pieces and occasionally some plan. I didn't notice anything particularly rare in his inventory. If you did, let me know because his inventory will change every time you hop the server. Now this is the buff, Blessing of the True Muffman. Bonus experience 5%, it does stack with your sleep buff and it does stack with Nuka Inspiration Cranberry buff from previous allies. So those are best allies, you can use both. How I'm doing it to use them both, I have this guy at this camp loadout and Nuka guy at other camp loadout. This way I am taking one buff, I hop to next camp, I take other buff, so... I'm farming experience only an hour a day because it's limited, but at least I'm not getting bored. And I have full buffs, all the boosts possible thanks to the Muffman blessing now. How much it gives if you use full experience build and top on top of that, use those buffs, uh, I will show you. So now inside West Tech with all the experience boosters, level 100 super mutant is giving me over 2300 experience and it will be even a little bit more at night time. And single grenade toss can yield me how much? 16,000 experience just on this room. That's not even the best room. Oh, and it's night now, so look at that. It's night time, 2418 experience per single super mutants with full experience boost at night time so you can see how much more it's worth it to do it once a day for full hour than grind for like let's say half of that without experience farming build and that's why steven together with leo are two best allies ever in my opinion let me know if you agree disagree are you grinding for this ally? And that being said, thank you a lot for watching and see you all in the next one.